I want to start by thanking Vancouver residents for remaining calm and following the direction of public health officials. I'm really proud of how this city is responding to this crisis and I, I think people should know that. I know this is a really stressful time for residents, uh, especially seniors and others who, uh, who already have health concerns. And I want everyone to know that the City of Vancouver is taking our pandemic response very seriously. We are working in close coordination with provincial health officers and, and Vancouver Coastal Health, along with federal and provincial governments and municipalities across the province and country. Today, we are announcing out of an abundance of caution, we have made the decision to suspend a number of non-essential programs and close most civic facilities. Our senior, uh, senior staff will go into more details from the operations side about the impacted areas and programs, but I want to say that part of the essential services uh, to remain open will be the food, shelter, and hygiene programs at Evelyn Cellar, Carnegie, and Gathering Place Community Centers. But recreation, social pro and social programs will not operate at these locations. Daycare and childcare spaces at park board facilities will also remain in operation. These changes allow us to reallocate some of our staff and supplies to our COVID response and to ensure that essential services can be maintained for the public. The public is already doing a good job at avoiding public spaces and some of our scheduled programs and offerings are already undersubscribed. My top priority right now is to ensure we do all we can to slow the spread of the virus and to make sure our most vulnerable neighbors are safe, especially seniors and those living in SROs or who are experiencing homelessness. Today. The Prime Minister urged all jurisdictions to take all necessary measures to slow the transmission of COVID-19. So that's what we're doing. Earlier today, I spoke with Vancouver Chief Medical Health Officer, Dr. Patricia Daly. She told me now is the time for all of us to step up measures to reduce transmission. Even if you're in a low risk group, you can get sick and you can spread COVID-19 to more vulnerable residents. Dr. Daly was clear with me that social distancing means keeping at least one meter between you and other people when out in public. That's why today I am asking all residents to think twice about whether they need to go out into public and visit bars and restaurants. Now I know tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, but if you don't think you can keep one meter or more away from others in your favorite bar, don't go. If you don't think you can keep one meter or more away from others in your favorite restaurant, don't go. And if you choose not to go, I urge you to support our restaurants by ordering takeout or delivery. For business owners, I'm urging you to take all necessary steps to ensure patrons can remain one meter or more from one another. If you cannot do this, I would ask you to limit your establishment's capacity. I've already seen some grocery stores across the province are reserving early open hours for uh, seniors and those with compromised immune systems and I ask all grocery stores to do their best to try and do this. Now I know this is going to mean financial hardship for many small businesses and workers. I'm working hard to make sure we get as many supports in place from senior levels of government as much as possible. But for now our top priority must be to slow transmission and flatten the curve. As a city we are focusing on ensuring that we can continue to provide essential services for our residents and businesses, particularly fire, police, water and sewer. Our emergency operations center is leading the coordination of our response as in direct communication with EMBC and neighboring municipalities. Our emergency operations center has moved from level one to level two readiness. We are working to support more than 10,000 low income residents who cannot self isolate, many with compromised immune systems. We are developing a plan for these folks in terms of testing, isolation and support. Right now, there is very little in the way of sanitation services for those living in SROs and in shelters and those who are homeless. This poses a risk for both residents and staff. We have already formed a downtown east side task force with City of Vancouver staff, Vancouver Coastal Health and BC Housing. They have been working all weekend and continue to look at all options for people to safely self isolate and to make sure SROs have the supply they need to ensure people can stay safe and clean. Throughout this coming week, starting tomorrow with a call between myself and Deputy Prime Minister Freeland, I will be asking for support from the federal government to make sure our neighbors who are underhoused or homeless are safe 
and to ensure no one loses their housing because of COVID-19. Here in Vancouver, I am directing our finance team to develop, develop plans to expand our rent bank and to make it easier for people to access. And I will be asking the federal government to help us boost the funds available in this bank. On the economic side of things, I'm talking to the federal and provincial governments about the serious economic impacts that are already being felt by residents and businesses in Vancouver. As the global economy slows, we'll need stimulus here in Vancouver and right across the region. That's why I've convened daily calls with Metro mayors to share best practices and come up with our joint acts to help support residents all across Metro. We have dozens of shovel-ready projects available across Metro and we're asking for clarity and how stimulus will flow from the federal government downwards. I want to make sure it comes to cities. We're on the front lines and we know where we can put the funds right away. I also want to let city, uh, let residents of Vancouver know that we are exploring ways our local government can also support our economy. The Vancouver Economic Commission is already in contact with representatives of impacted sectors and we'll be working with them to identify the city and other levels of government and how they may be able to provide for the response and recovery of our local re uh, economy. This includes asking the province to look at adjusting the criteria for the property tax deferment program and potential expansion to businesses. In his address, the Prime Minister said that they will be announcing financial supports for vulnerable people. We need these supports in place as quickly as possible. Low wage workers in the service sector and who work in health care are having shifts cancelled or are facing work restrictions. They need support now and I will be working to advocate for them at the provincial and federal levels. In the coming days and weeks, we will no, no doubt need to continue to recalibrate our response and to make sure we're doing everything we can to protect the health and safety of residents as well as our local economy. I want people to know that all options are on the table and we will move as quickly, we will move quickly to keep people safe. Right now, there is no need from an operations standpoint to declare a local state of emergency, but that is an option and I'm ready to give that declaration at any moment if we need to. I want all residents to know that our staff have been working tirelessly and focused on keeping services running and keeping people safe. These are very stressful times for people. I want to personally thank them all for their hard work to date. We have an extraordinary team here at the city. I also want to give a very clear message to every resident of Vancouver that now is the time to stay calm and support friends and neighbors who are vulnerable. No one needs to hoard supplies. It doesn't help and only puts people at more risk. We need to keep asking ourselves how we can help each other. If you have an elderly neighbor or someone who has a medical issue that you know of, just ask them if they're okay and if they need anything. And remember, the most important thing you can do is practice social distancing, which means staying at least one meter away from other people in public and staying home if you're experiencing any signs of illness.